Welcome to Boscombe Pier. Beautiful, sunny, not day. Uh, behind me, you'll see the uh, lovely Paul Ream setting up. We're going to be having a look at whether the version two of the firmware of the GH5 has got an improved autofocus, which apparently it has. And uh, Paul Ream has uh, devised the test where I'm going to walk up and down and see if I'm in focus. We're going to get you to walk to and from this camera with the facial recognition on and with the uh, center spot recognition on. Compare the two and then compare it to the Canon dual pixel system. Has it, has it got good enough to, that we can even compare it? Okay, take the Canon, that's the Canon. Thank you. And how are we going to make sure this is a fair test? Uh, because all we're going to do is swap the camera. Um, I know the GH5 has got a speed booster on it with a Canon lens. There is an argument that the autofocus will work better with Panasonic or Olympus M4 thirds lenses. Um, but in a real world, most cameramen I know, they want to use their Canon EF lenses on this camera and this camera. So we're comparing okay. like for like. Can you compare it? Thing is, we do need it dark because right. I tried to do this yesterday with some marathon runners. <laughs> and it was really sunny. And the trouble is, everything's, everything's in focus. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. What's really weird? Is in this viewfinder, the the image is telling me that it's tracking your face all the way along there, perfectly. The square, the eyes, it's all set, but it's not doing it. So it's tracking it, but it's not actually pulling focus. It catches it sometimes. Are you on auto focus? Yeah. <laughs> um, so the image on the viewfinder, the camera is tracking it right. It's just not doing it. So maybe the settings, maybe I should tweak the settings, make it a bit more sensitive, increase the speed. Let's try that and do it again. Okay, slowly towards us. And that version was with the sensitivity and the responsiveness wound right up to the top. So that's five and three. Um, it's quicker, but it doesn't really help. Maybe we take the speed down to plus three and the sensitivity. Should that be locked on? Minus three? Yeah. Should we try that? Set. Okay, let's try it again. So focus on the background. Yeah, it's got your face. Okay, face recognition doesn't really work. Maybe it's your face. <laughs> um, what we need to do, next thing, is let's try tracking. So, um, on the menu, instead of face eye recognition, let's try tracking. Turn the tracking on. And I might uh, change this custom settings a little bit. So we make the speed of it... Should we make the speed of it slower? Slower, I think, is going to be better. Let's make the autofocus speed slower, but the sensitivity more responsive. Okay. So we're now at minus three for the speed and plus two for the sensitivity. Let's give that a go. It's and set. are we still on face tracking or...? No, this is just tracking an object. So right. when, you, when you go and stand there, 
I'll tap on your face, check it's focused on your face, and, and then it should it then right. track that okay. as an object. Okay, I've got your face slowly towards the camera. Oh, that's not bad. It lost it just at the end there. Okay, I like the settings, but let's try one area. So now we should be able to click on an area and you can alter the size of that area. So if we make the middle of the frame, there. so if you're in the middle of the frame, it should focus on anything in that middle area there. Okay, walk towards the camera. shaking your head it does find it eventually but no <laughs> now a bit of canon dual pixel stuff what's your expectations on this one everybody raves about the canon dual pixel but let's see if it's as good as everybody says it is I still think the GH5 is my new favourite camera. It's nice to use. I like the pictures. Picture quality is stunning. The 4K, 400 megabits per second. All eye codec, nice to edit. It's, it's fantastic camera. It's a great camera. I'm not going to slag it off because the autofocus doesn't work. No. But the autofocus doesn't work. With our almost extreme test, <laughs> I don't think you want to test it harder than that. It doesn't work. No. I couldn't stand in front of a client, turn that on and think, yeah, I got it, nailed it. Can you, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't drift off a little bit. When it goes... It just blows out. Way, it's gone. End of shot. It's not, it's not like, go away with it, it's a little bit usable. Are you able to focus manually? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a question that many people yeah, have been looking I mean, to ask. <laughs> there are times there are times when I can see that autofocus is really useful. Yes. And I like the idea of it. Um, and I'd like to have it as a function every now and again. Um, even though I, I said I'd never use it. It's nice to have it. It is, yeah. Yeah. I like the touch especially if you've got the screen out, you can just See I if I'm focusing manually I actually, I'm pulling focus ahead of you walking. Ah, when, when I'm doing right. it manually, something I learned yes. really, really early on. If you're walking towards me, I can feel the speed that I'm moving the, the focus. I'm going slightly ahead of you. The reason is that you're always walking, walking into, into focus. focus. I remember you telling me that many, many years yeah. ago, that tip. If, if, if I'm trying to keep you in focus all the time, I'm always going to be chasing you. So the problem you. is that this technology is reactive. It needs to be it, predictive. It's reacting yes. to a movement that's happened. Yeah. Ah. There's a drone up there. Someone's taking our top shot. That should be illegal. We've been spied on. Yeah, we are. Bloody annoying, aren't they? Who flies these drones over this beach, hmm? Mm. Mm. 
Someone's on, someone's on your turf. You need to get your drone out. Drone wars. <laughs> I like, you know, no, robot wars, drone wars. Yeah. Your drone could like have uh, arms that come out of it and attack the other drone what, in the sky. It could have like four spinning blades, couldn't it? <laughs> and, can, and see them falling out the sky. Cappuccino? It's a good idea. <laughs> 